Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be making a whole chicken in the oven and these are the ingredients I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using garlic, sazon, olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, some homemade sofrito, black pepper, some oregano, adobo, salt, and this is called the Belong. This is where I'll put the garlic in so I can mash it. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat knife and I'm going to take each garlic individually and I'm going to just smash it down. See? Smash it. And then once it's smashed, I'm going to come and I'm going to throw it in here so I'm able to smash it. So when you smash it, this is the consistency you want it to be. And now we're going to come and put it in a bowl. So now I'm going to come and pour the garlic in the bowl. Then I'm going to start adding my ingredients to it. So I'm going to add a little bit of oregano. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of adobo. Two packs of sesam. I'm going to add some homemade sofrito. And then I'm gonna come and add a little bit, just a little bit of um, vinegar. And I'm gonna come and add olive oil. Then once I add everything, I'm gonna come and mix it up. And while I'm doing this, the oven is on 350, so it can be preheated already. Just I'm continue mixing it so everything is mixed well. So now we're going to come and add it to our chicken. Okay, so now that we have the seasoning prepared, what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke holes in the chicken. So when I'm putting the seasoning, the seasoning could go in through the holes and the inside can have some flavor. So let's poke some holes. And when I poke the holes, I put the knife in and I turn. So now that I have all the holes poked in the chicken, it's time to put the seasoning. So I'm going to come with a spoon and I'm just going to place it. Once I do that, I'm going to come and I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the same thing for all the corners, especially the inside of the chicken right here. And then once I throw all the seasoning on it, I 
come with my hands and I just start seasoning it up more like putting all the garlic and the holes that I put in make sure every part of the chicken is got seasoning leave it on this side okay so this is well seasoned at the moment so now that the chicken is completely seasoned I'm going to come and take a piece of aluminum and I'm just going to cover it up completely and since my oven is already preheated on 350 I'm gonna throw it put it in the oven for an hour okay so now it's been an hour and what I'm doing is I'm gonna take off the aluminum you gotta be very careful because it's hot. And then I'm gonna come with a spoon and I'm, oh, I'm gonna spare myself. And I'm just gonna pour the juice of the chicken on top. And the reason I put the aluminum is so it can cook from the inside out. Now I'm going to put it back in the oven for another hour without the aluminum. So it can start getting crispy on the outside. And it won't be so dry. It will be juicy when you cut into it. So now I'm going to put this back in the oven. So yeah, it's been 35 minutes. So now I took it out again so I can put some more of the juice on it. And then I'm going to put it back in for another 30 minutes. Just wanted to get all that flavor in there. And to get a little more crispy. Okay everyone, so now my chicken is done. This is the way it looks. Nice and crispy everywhere flavorable then you have um the juice the chicken throws out with the flavoring so when you cut it and slice you can come and you can pour it on top so i want to show you how it is when you slice into it look at that nice and juicy see that it's nice and juicy and well done in the inside. So I want to thank y'all once again for watching my video. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.